No, Zelda was the scientist. Yeah. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. <gasps> so chivalry is dead. You win best response to this post. It's so dumb that broad shoulders are considered unattractive in a woman just because the ideal of womanhood is based on the perceived fragility of a smaller frame. Have you ever seen a woman with broad shoulders? Looks like she was sculpted by the gods themselves. You're absolutely right. Andy put up a picture of Zarya from Overwatch. Look at her. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite ship dynamic is they're both extremely stupid in completely different ways and extremely smart in completely different ways. But really is any of that useful because they just get extra double stupid when together. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if girls use the same style of joke to degrade men like, Cool story, bro, now go chop some lumber. <laughs> go chop some lumber. <laughs> what are you doing out of the garage? Go fix my car. The grill isn't gonna light itself. Don't you have something to fix somewhere? Listen, it's 2018. We need to stop blaming serotonin and dopamine and start blaming the real culprit, which is the hippocampus, that son of a bitch. Three years later, it's 2021. We need to stop always blaming our neurochemical functions and start blaming the real culprit, which is of our inherently flawed society that prioritizes greed of the few over the needs of the many, which enables mental illness to flourish without the ability to receive treatment. That son of a bitch. Hmm. Hashtag character development. Today I learned Claudius was the first of 15 Roman emperors to not have any male lovers. People thought it was strange that he was only attracted to women. It is strange. It's fucking weird is what it is. As an artist, I like to think I know when things look sketchy. As a musician, I like to think I know when things sound off. As a math enjoyer, I like to think I know when things don't add up. As a writer, I- Fuck it! Be creative. Even if you never really make anything. Write out plot synopses of stories and then move on. Design OCs you'll never use. Make mood boards and concept art and don't do anything with them. Life's too short to forget everything that inspired you and creation doesn't have to be complete to be worth the time you put into it. Just make shit that makes you happy. Don't have to finish shit. All right? All right. Cool advice from Dark Souls. Age only affects appearance and has no bearing on ability. Gender has no bearing on ability. Everyone has imperfections. Prejudice births malcontents. Become a dark spirit. Time for crab. Screaming and crying because I'll never actually know what people in history's voices sounded like. I think about that a lot, actually. Like, what if... <laughs> what if George Washington sounded like Danny DeVito? <laughs> There's no way to not prove it. Mario says... Blind nationalism, in this case of glorifying the national anthem, is remaining willfully ignorant of the systematic equality that this country still faces. That's why people kneel. Luigi says, Lamal, why the fuck would you stand for the anthem? It doesn't even slap. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Wrong, your honor. As a necromancer, I literally summon my first witness. The victim. One time I dreamt in an official statement, the band 21 Pilots revealed that they would be changing their names to 20 Un Pilots. <laughs> you guys ever have a thing called dream envy? Yesterday night, a lady came through our drive-thru and was like, The way the planets are aligning and the fact that we're getting a blood moon has me worried. I sense severe werewolf activities on the horizon. You better walk your co-worker to her car tonight after you've closed. And I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, yes, ma'am. You heard that and just went end dialogue. You fool. She's the werewolf. She's luring you into a trap. Stay inside the building. You're gay. What about my gay? It's off its leash and now is redecorating my living room. Please take it back. Damn it, gay, come back here.